We are now at one of the greatest monuments in the United States of America. I like that people make monuments like this. It's so cool that we're here. Now we're gonna try and drive up the mountain. Eagle. In the previous video, we traveled through the beautiful Nebraska Sandhills, and today we are going to the far west of Nebraska. That's where some of Nebraska's most famous landmarks are. First, we go see the Chimney Rock. This is the chimney! Then we see Scott's Bluff National Monument, and then we're headed for the Stonehenge. I mean, Carhenge. I present you Carhenge. Let's go! is a rock formation and it's one of the most famous landmarks for people that migrated to the west on the Oregon trails in the 19th century. It is a remnant of rock erosion and it's still eroding today, making it smaller and smaller. We've now crossed all of Nebraska and we haven't seen a single rock until now. It is 300 feet or 90 meters tall. This is as close as we can get. The land between here and the Chimney Rock is private property. It was free to come and look at the rock. This is the Chimney Rock Visitor Center. They have a museum here. And the museum charges $3 for adults. Okay, off to Scott's Bluff National Monument. This was also a landmark for the travelers on the Oregon trails. The Platte River Valley in Nebraska made it easy for people to travel through the state. But these rocks were a barrier they had to cross. The monument protects the rock formations and the short grass prairie. Look at this view, and we're still in Nebraska. Oh, I can see the chimney rock from here. There's chimney rock. This is so cool. We can see all of Nebraska from here. Just joking, we can't. Still. This marker here shows the highest elevation of Scott's Bluff to be 6,449 feet, but natural and human erosion are working to reduce that figure. Wyoming should be right there. Oh, bird, eagle. Wait, eagle? Or something else. Yeah. Is it an eagle? Uh, no. It's a bird at least. It's a big bird. Maybe it's a falcon? Falcon, hawk. Hawk. I don't know, it's just flying there. <gasps> Cactus! I love those arid landscapes. Now we're finally heading over to Carhenge. Anyone that says Nebraska's flat has not been to Scott's Bluff National Monument. Well, Nebraska is pretty flat. Other places though. Hmm, 
some bread twist from Domino's. Mmm. Don't forget the icing. Oh, very good. They're just much fresher than the Norwegian ones. Corin! <laughs> the meaning of Corin! Corin, half a mile away. at one of the greatest monuments in the United States of America. I present you Carhenge. Your first question upon encountering Carhenge might be why, but creator Jim Reinders' answer would simply be why not. They were able to reduce the time of the original Stonehenge construction by 9,999 years and 51 weeks. You can still spin the wheels. Isn't that fascinating how they roll different away from each other? Yeah. That's so cool. <laughs> That's so funny. Autograph Carosaurus. We came from a long way, but this guy came from Burundi. I like the people who make monuments like this. It's funny. Bye, Henge. It was fun seeing you. Are they turkeys? <laughs> <laughs>